Okay, for this video, I want to show you how to set up test administrations for tests that you create in Illuminate. So from the Illuminate homepage here, I'm going to view my assessments. And I'm going to search my assessment by my specific title. And I'll choose my item bank assessment that I have so far. I can actually click here and then click administer. Or from this view, I can actually click on actions and administer here. So this is our uh, assessment administration page where you can choose how you want to do your testing for your kids, how you want to set up your administrations. There are two different ways. You can either test in portal or test with a quick code. Testing with a quick code does not require you to assign it to a specific group of students. If you want to create an assessment and test it with a click code and test it with a quick code, you simply go to your testing page, your administration page here, on the assessment that you've chosen, and click this button, Test with Quick Code. Okay, It's going to go ahead and create the assessment administration. It says there's no filter, there's no course filter, there's no students right now attached to this assessment. So anybody with a quick code can take this assessment. Very simply, you can click on this access code. It brings up this page. You can either have your students navigate themselves to illuminate.online, where they will be required to enter in their lunch number and this code. Or, if you want to make it a little bit easier for them, give them this direct link. It takes them right to the assessment page. All they have to do is enter in their lunch number, and the test code is already entered for them. So, whether you stick this um, quick code in Canvas, in Seesaw, you push it out to them through Apple Classroom, you can easily navigate them to that direct link and all they have to do is enter in their lunch number. Once they enter their lunch number in, it automatically generates the test for them right on their device um, and then they can start testing. And as they test, this number of students will increase as you have multiple students taking and finishing that assessment. But that is very, very simple how to test with a quick code on your assessment. To test in portal, it looks a little bit different. So here, we would click test in portal. And now this would actually allow us to assign a specific group of kids to this assessment. So what we can do is we can pick our testing window and we want the testing window to start and end. Of course, you'd want to go ahead and tag all of these boxes here, your year, your grade level, your site that you're at, the user, the course, all your sections, or choose the sections you want, and then leave it at all students. And you can see that it should pull up a number of how many students you actually have if you've assigned it to all of your classes. You can also go down and do a few more administrations. So you can actually set up the time of day for the window to test. You can set up a daily window. You can set up an all-day window. Um, the tool settings is a great place to go to as well. Here you can toggle on or off the different types of tools that you want kids to be able to have access to in your test administration. So do you want them to have a calculator? Do you want them to have a spell checker? Do you want them to be able to highlight? Do you want them to have access to a dictionary or to strike through? Uh, do you want them to have text-to-speech? That's what TTS is here text-to-speech for the question, text-to-speech for the passage. So all kinds of different tools you can set up as well. And then when you're done setting up your tools, you click Save. And that assessment has now been created for all these students. You can now see all 120 students see this assessment. So when they go to the Illuminate testing site uh, in their web browser, and they log in with their lunch number and password, this would be one of the assessments available for them to take. And then as they take and finish the assessment, that data starts to roll in for you. So there's the two ways on how to administer or set up test administrations, either through quick code or through testing in portal.